Senior Minister, Minister of State for Health Janil Putucheri told Parliament that Singapore is not expected to exit Phase 3 anytime soon. He was responding to MP Ip Hon Wing who'd asked about Singapore's plans to ease out of Phase 3 as well as the criteria that must be fulfilled for Phase 3 restrictions to be lifted. Well, Dr. Janil said that Phase 3 will last until there's evidence on vaccine effectiveness in preventing future outbreaks. He also said a substantial proportion of the population must be vaccinated. The rest of the world must have the virus under control as well. While the outbreaks in several countries have abated in recent weeks, we need to remain vigilant. We will continue to find ways to allow our economy and our society to further reopen in a safe way. But given the dynamic situation here and around the world, we will need to adjust our safe management measures from time to time. We do not expect to move out of phase three anytime soon. The vaccines approved in Singapore have been shown to be effective in providing protection against the COVID-19 virus. We are awaiting more evidence about how effective they will be about preventing transmission. We are also closely monitoring their effectiveness against new viral variants. Meanwhile, our best strategy is to continue to be disciplined about safe management measures and achieve a high level of vaccination within our population to boost our collective immunity. Meanwhile, the Health Ministry confirmed 10 new COVID-19 cases today, including two in the community. The remaining eight imported cases had already been placed on stay-home notice upon arrival in Singapore. Minister of State for National Development, Han Kiet Hao, said for now, Singapore will not implement tiered pricing for travellers serving their SHN and dedicated facilities. But he also said the ministry is studying how to provide these travellers with more options to meet their preferences and budgets without compromising safety. The system has served about 190,000 travellers since its formation. As travellers cannot choose their SDF, and the cost structure is largely similar. A standard fee is charged regardless of the SDF that they are assigned to.